Okay, well, I went through the trial carefully, and I went through some of the notes and so forth. So the story you told matches up with everything that I said, everything that you said. Um, so at one point when you were inside of the actual Texaco, you told the man that, oh, I think there might be a problem outside. It wasn't me who did that. It was a witness inside of the store who did that. Uh, okay. a, a, a passerby who was going in the store to buy some Bud Lights. He told right, because he saw the altercation, yeah. Yeah, because when he walked in, I had the weapon already trained on him. So when he walked in, he told the clerk what he saw. Got it. And and what's crazy is they called him on as a witness on behalf of the state, but he actually testified to everything I said. So it was like, uh, it, it was it was weird, bro. Right. Well, when you told him to, to get his hands out of his pockets and to stop threatening you, ultimately you did have to use deadly force. It was uh, six shots that you fired. Yeah. Uh, after he dropped, you know, you I still, by. I don't, I, don't I, I can't tell you how many shots I fired. Well, I mean, according to the court case, it was okay. six shots. He had nine, uh, nine bullet wounds total because of the, some of them went through, you know, they went on one side and came out the other. So it was multiple wounds, but it was six shots total. Um, ultimately you walked around the body and I guess you got in your car and you left, but then you called 911 and came back. By the time the police had arrived. No, that, so that's happened. not how it happened. So what happened was I got in my car. As people started walking up to him, he was right next to my car. I moved my car from on the side of him to another gas pump, and I sat there for a minute. I got footage of all of this I can show you. Um, I sat there for a minute, and the store owner turned out all of the lights in the parking lot. It got pitch black dark. On the video, you'll see it get pitch black dark, and I leave the parking lot immediately. When I leave the parking lot, I'm already on the phone, 911. So when I get out of the parking lot and make a right, I'm speaking to dispatch, still in disbelief of everything that just happened. As I'm speaking to dispatch, police start passing by me, coming into the, coming to the scene. So I throw the phone down, I'm, they here now. So I follow them back into the parking lot. You know, and, and I walk up to him and tell him everything that happened. Right. I guess you approached the police and you told them what happened. And then you, you said you have the gun in your car and it's unloaded. Yep. Right. Because because when I when I told him what happened, one of them, I guess, kind of got amped up and he was like, you got any weapons on you right now? I'm like, nah, all my weapons in the car. That's why I'm already trying to tell you my hands up where you can see them, before, you know, before we even get to that point. I mean, after the six shots got fired and you're holding the gun in your hand and you're looking at as to what what's you know what just happened and the adrenaline is pumping and you know you know that although it is a self defense situation the the level of what just happened is is massive. What's going through your mind at that point? Ah uh, man, I'm still in. I mean, I don't mean to sound selfish, but when my life flashed in front of my eyes, bro. It took so long for me to come back to my normal feeling of safety. When I say I was broke, my nerves were so rattled because this dude right in my face, reaching in his pocket, telling me what he finna do to me. And you right in my face. So it's like, I'm so glad that nothing happened to me Because evidently, you know, something was about to happen to me. I just couldn't get over the fact that I almost didn't make it home. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I couldn't get past that. It, it was hard for me to get past that to even go to the next step of thinking, man. My, once your life flashes in front of your eyes, the next 10 minutes you ain't just going thinking about nothing else, man. It's... it's it's going to take you a second to really just let everything soak in. Well, the victim was 32-year-old Denzeria O'Ferris Jr. Uh, he was taken to the hospital and he died of his wounds. And I just want to say, you know, rest in peace to uh, Denzeria and my condolences to his family. Yeah, condolences uh, to his family happened. and definitely rest in peace. Um, and like I, like I tell you, um, his family is actually... Some of his people in his family, like, 
they are from the same community I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never knew him, but it's people in his family that's from my same community, and we grew up in the same areas. You understand what I'm saying? So it's definitely, um, it's a it's an unfortunate situation. Um, and I, I definitely want to send my prayers out to his family. It's it's a serious situation, and it's it's just an unfortunate situation. And I pray that they understand that I was in fear of my life, and I would never put nobody else's life in danger unless I was, you know, and you know. Well, yeah. I mean, I watched some of the news footage, and they played some of the actual. Um you know, camera footage from the Texaco. And yeah, I mean, it looked like you were sort of close to the to the actual store and your car was, you know, at the pump and this man just walks over and just opens up your door. Yeah. I mean, it was crazy when I saw it. It was like, yo, like, how do you even oh, justify so something fast. like that? I mean, yeah. it happened so fast, bro. Like, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Like, oh, he actually going in my car. I know I got a loaded rifle right there in his arms reach. So I'm I'm panicking on so many different levels. Uh, I'm, I don't know who this person is, what they got. I know they reaching inside of here and I know what I got in here. So it's like, it was no way for me to feel safe in that situation. And it, it happened so fast, bro. At the drop of a dime, I'm talking to somebody, I look over, what the, you know what I'm saying? Like, 